Okay, inside of my pantry, I noticed that I have roasted Parmesan sauce. All of these are considered as white sauces, okay? You got red sauce and you got white sauce and you have brown sauces, which is like gravies. So we're gonna take our chicken. We're gonna take our deluxe mac and cheese and we're gonna make something really cute. Let's go. For all intents and purposes, I'm doing this right here inside of this. What I did was, let me show you my cooker that I'm cooking it in. I'm cooking it in my Ninja, okay? So I have this over here that I've washed it up, I'm plugging it up, and that's what I'm going to cook it in. But first, I'm going to debone the chicken. Now, when you debone the chicken, because we're going to cook them two separate things and we're going to put it together. But deboning the chicken... Um, and especially when you have dogs, and I also like the little jelly part that be in there, like that little jelly sauce in there. It's just seasoning, really. But I like that little jelly sauce that be in there. But I have the camera set up like this, so you guys can't see so much inside of the pan, but you can kind of see the, the top of it. But I wanted to say this, that... Um, can you also wash my hands a little more? I have my water over here my bleachy water for my hands because of course when you're working with your hands you always 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 want to have bleach soapy water present somewhere okay especially when you're working with your hands so you just basically just taking this and just taking the meat off the bones okay now if you want it real finely uh minced or chopped, however way that you want it. If you don't want no skin in it, take the skin out. If you have dogs like me that has a greedy dog, I leave a little bit of the meat on there for him. Um, if you don't, you know, excess skin and things like that, the things that you don't want in there, you got a dog, they're going to get at it, okay? So, yeah, so I'm just pretty much just, as you see, just basically just deboning this chicken. Now, what you can do is you can saute the chicken a little bit more. Now, rotisserie chicken has been seasoned already, but um, I am going to put a little canola oil in here, and I'm going to begin to saute it a little bit with some onion, some seasoning, some Italian seasoning, you know what I'm saying? And like that. And also with rotisserie chicken, you want to also make sure that it's really done. Sometimes it won't be done all the way. And if that's the case, you know what I'm saying, pre sauteing it ahead of time is always good. Um, I have to say that this makes the best taquitos ever. Chicken enchiladas. Oh my God, yeah. You know, so... You know, rotisserie chicken is always a good way to go. In the morning times, they'll have um, the markdowns from like the previous day. And a lot of times it's already cold. So, you know, you don't have to wait for the chicken to, you know, to, 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 to cool down before you start manipulating it and, you know, tearing it apart like how I'm doing right now. So... If you wanted to saute it a little bit to just make sure it's a little bit more done or to incorporate different seasonings and things like that, and therefore that's the time to do that. But, um, so that's what I'm doing, as you can see. And I'm also making sure there's no bones in here so when the kids are eating this, they getting at it. Ain't no stopping. Okay, it's elbows bending, mouth flying open. Okay, as my mama used to say. So, yeah, so, and also when it comes down to your dogs, you don't want to ever, 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 especially give them um, turkey bone. Turkey bone splinter, and it can really, really hurt them, choke them, and 
other things that, you know, you want to be mindful of. Chicken bones are a little bit different, you know. They're a little bit more pliable and break up and stuff like that, especially as you cook them. And they don't splinter like um, turkey bones do. So, yeah. So I'm just going through taking out most of the chicken. And as it comes down to the breast, if you want to take your paring knife and go in there with that or just go in with your hands, doing it like that. I don't have on acrylics. I haven't had on acrylics in years. So I think the last time I had acrylics, I was probably pregnant with Anthony. So that was in the 90s. <laughs> that was the last time I had acrylics on. Um, but, uh, but still, no judgment. So that is heating up and getting ready. I mean, well, actually it's on because the, the, the bottom portion is here. So, yeah, you want to, in certain instances, especially when it comes down to this breast, you might have to get into this breast with a little paring knife or something. I don't like my um, meat really minced up, you know what I'm saying, like it's dust. I want you to be able to bite on meat when you, you know what I mean, when you're eating. So, I don't like to make my meats uh stretched out or whatever to the point to where as you know you're getting dust of meat no i want you to get chunks of meat okay so yeah so anyway so let me continue to do this and we'll be back okay, this is about three quarters of a way done this is what you want it to do and i just simply added salt in the water. I didn't put any oil. And you see it isn't sticking, it isn't gummy or any of those things. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of canola oil. I'm holding the camera with my hands so just bear with me just enough to just coat the bottom that's really good enough i didn't have um fresh onion so i'm using chopped onion so i'm just sprinkling some of that in here we're going through with a little bit of black pepper just a little bit to taste of course we're coming through with a little bit of lorries just to taste To your specifications, if you have uh, salt restrictions, then also make sure you apply as, you know, your recommendations. Also, I put me some chicken to the side because um, I wanted to make me a little chicken salad just for me or a couple of taquitos or whichever. You hear Egypt, she's whining. She thinks this is hers, but it isn't. This is mommy's and mommy's going to make her a little chicken salad with it. We're going with the Homestyle Prego Alfredo, Homestyle. You take your rubber spatula and just get the rest of that out. For, but for this purposes right here, since I'm working with one hand, I'm just going to do it like that. I also have the Ragu Roasted Garlic Parmesan Sauce. Excuse me, fam. I'm working with one hand. <laughs> okay. Of course, I'll get the rest of it out. But, but right now, we're going to simply blend this in this way. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut this fire down because it's on high. 
So let's cut that down to a low. Okay. To keep these noodles from overcooking and overheating, you want to rinse them off and then just place them back inside of your stock pot in cold water and that will just completely stop it from cooking. Lift your uh, colander to the side of your stock pot like so and allow it to drain off the excess water before we pour these shells into our pot. Okay, so now with this one hand, I'm going to pour in our shells. Let's get the cheese ready. I've gathered a few cheeses here that I already put inside of the saucepan. This is just some Swiss for the, for the kids' sandwiches. but um, So I just took some cheeses. And I put them inside of our ninja. And as you see, I put the in like different areas, okay, of the cheeses. This is simply the cheese from the box. From this. And it comes in a little packet like that and you um, squeeze it out of its packet. So, and I kind of strategically put the cheeses around like that. So as I begin to fold this inside, everything is, everything is getting a little bit of something or other, okay? You wanna just fold this inside of itself like that. So we have our chicken in here. We got different cheeses in here. We sauteed our chicken with some um, uh, dried onion. We didn't have fresh, which is okay. And we had the rotisserie chicken. We took that. We simply sauteed that. We made our noodles in a stock pot to the side. And so now we're just simply folding this all together. The ninja is on low. So this is what we're doing. Now if you want to make more boxes instead of the two boxes that I cooked, cook three boxes, cook four boxes, whatever works for your family. The object is the game is to just simply feed them to nourish them. So then therefore they can have some strength to meet the day head on and to, you know, know that what you prepared for them, you put your heart and your soul inside of the meals that you prepared for your family. And that's what it's all about. So as I begin to fold this in, presentation is everything. So what you want to do is take a... paper towel and then you want to clean up these edges let me do that you definitely want to clean up your surface area it just makes the presentation of your food look more polished and everything so what you want to do is I just take in a fresh you want it clean okay and you want to take this and just simply clean up the outline and the edges like so. So as your family are coming in and they're making their own plates or you're preparing it for them or however way you're going to do it in your house, you just want it to be polished and you want it to be cool and it'll just be on there like that. You just toss this in the trash. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it off because it is ready. It takes all of maybe 30 minutes to uh, cook. 
um, prepare from start to finish. It doesn't take very long, but it is so good already. I tasted the napkin. Okay, so let's get started on these biscuits. Now, um, I bought this silicone pan here. I just washed it, but I bought this from Aldi. Aldi is one of my favorite stores. And I love, love, love these silicone pans. I have this one, and I also have the um, the bread pan um, that is like a rectangular uh, type of shape. But I absolutely love it. So anyway, um, I'm going to pour a little bit of this canola inside of here. That's a lot, but okay. <laughs> That's a lot. <laughs> So I'm going to move this around in here. I'm working with one hand, fam. That's a lot. So, yeah, I'm going to pour a little bit of it out. And I'm going to get these biscuits ready to go inside of here. But, yeah, we could, we could, we could pour a little bit of this out. Since it's silicone, let's do it like this here. Can we? Okay. Ah, I'm pouring it on the ground. I poured it on the floor, fam. Okay, so let's just kind of. Pour just a little bit of that out, like so. Okay, better? Better. Okay. So, inside of my little air fryer cooker, it's like a multi-cooker, but I absolutely love it. And I've noticed that with these silicone pans, it fits in there like perfectly, okay? So... I have that in there like so, okay? Everything's good. So you're gonna go this way. You're gonna go bake, 350. Let's say, let's go about, say, let's try 10 minutes. Okay. Whether you're serving with a ladle, a full spoon, or a slotted spoon, what you want to do before you set it on your spoon rest, because this is a spoon rest. That's what this is called. Okay. Um, I buy these from the Dollar Tree, and they're the fold top. It's 125 in there. You can't miss on this. This is a good buy here. What I do is I take these, and I'm working with one hand. You already know. So for all intents and purposes, as you see, I clean the slotted spoon. And you want to use this as a sleeve to put this in there because otherwise you don't want to attract a lot of flies in your kitchen. You don't want flies on your serving uh, ware and all that stuff while you're cooking. I don't like that kind of stuff. And I really like to have a lot of things kind of tidy and clean when I'm cooking. So I always cover my spoons as I'm, you know, making the plating because then therefore it kind of keeps all of this clean and also when you're done, it also keeps flies and stuff off of your spoons and your um, serveware. But um, you can rinse it off first, then put it in the bag. I also put a couple extra ones next to it as one get completely nasty, then therefore there's some more just to you know, to put together so then therefore you can keep your area clean. And see how beautiful they begin to come out. Now, at this point, if you wanted to put like some butter and stuff on top of them, you could put the butter on there now or you can wait until they're done. But we're gonna allow it to cook just this, what, two more minutes? Okay, now you want to kind of make sure that they're done at the bottom and not gummy. I think I'm going to go another minute maybe because this center one looks like it can go a little bit. So I'm going to go another say maybe two minutes. So go back on bake. It's automatically default at 350, and then we're going to knock this down to about, let's go with three. Oh, 
yeah. And one thing about the um, silicone too, it's not really hot. So you can really manipulate a silicone much more easier than glass or your metal pans. But they came out perfect. Oh my God. So we're just gonna take a little bit of butter and you just want to, now either you want to take individual ones and just put butter in between it or just put butter on top. But the object of the game is to put a little butter on it, baby. And once you put this butter on there, we're going to take the tin foil and we're going to put tin foil on top of it and just allow that to just do what it do. So put as much butter or as less butter as, you know, your preference allow. Um, go in between. Um, these are the layered biscuits. So if you wanted to layer the butter inside of there, however way you want to do it, okay? Auntie is just doing it this way for um, video purposes, okay? So you want to do that. And as you see, it is a little hot, but again, silicone, you can touch it and, you know, manipulate it and it won't burn you like that. So I absolutely love, love, love silicone bakeware. So anyway, now that I've gotten that, I have my handy dandy tin foil. I'm just going to put that on that. Let me plate me up a little bit. Oh, yeah. Wow. Okay. So this is all me. Oh, my God. It looks so good. Thank you for watching, family. You guys have a good day. Bye-bye for now.